Hello friends, the question is like this, we have to evaluate this integral 10 inverse of square root of 1 minus x upon 1 plus x with respect to x. Okay, so friends, to solve this question, what we see here is this, that we have been given an inverse trigonometrical function and inside this function we have been given the term in the form of 1 minus x upon 1 plus x inside the square root sign. Okay. So, as we have done in previous case, and I have told you that if we have the terms in the form of 1 minus x upon 1 plus x, then we substitute x is equal to cos theta, cos square theta, cos 2 theta, depending on a requirement. Okay, so to solve this question, we are going to now substitute x is equal to cos theta. Okay, so on substituting x is equal to cos theta, we have to also replace for dx so differentiating both sides with respect to x i'm going to get dx is equal to minus sine theta d theta so i'm going to get this integral as equal to minus times the integration of 10 inverse of square root of 1 minus cos theta upon 1 plus cos theta and for dx i've written minus sine theta d theta that is why we obtained minus sign here okay now I'm going to replace 1 minus cos theta with 2 sin square theta by 2 and 1 plus cos theta with 2 cos square theta by 2. So on placing uh, these values, I'm going to get this value as equal to minus of integration of 10 inverse of square root of 2 sin square theta by 2 upon 2 cos square theta by 2 sin theta d theta. Further, I have cancelled these twos and I have written this as 10 square theta by 2 and this square root sign as it is and remaining terms are exactly ditto as it is. Now, the square root and the square will cancel. So, I am going to get this as equal to 10 inverse of 10 theta by 2 sin theta d theta. Okay. Further, this 10 inverse and 10 are going to cancel. So, I am going to get this as this value as equal to minus 1 by 2 integration of theta sin theta, theta d theta. Okay, now to, uh, since the function which which is formed here is the product of two function, theta can be considered as an algebraic function and sine theta as a trigonometrical function. So we are going to apply the formula of integration by parts to solve it, and this will be equal to minus uh, one by two is written outside the integration, and this will be equal to first function into integration of second function. So we have assumed. Uh, the algebraic function as the first function and sine theta as the second function minus the integration of differentiation of first function into integration of second function and integration of this product obtained on solving so this will be equal to minus 1 by 2 as it is integration of sine theta minus cos theta so i'm going to obtain minus theta cos theta differentiation of theta with respect to theta would be 1 integration of sine theta again minus cos theta d theta plus c now integration of cos theta would be equal to sine theta and this minus minus are going to become plus so i'm going to get this value as equal to minus 1 by 2 minus theta cos theta plus sine theta plus c okay further i can multiply this minus sign inside the bracket to obtain 1 by 2 times theta cos theta minus sine theta plus c now we are going to convert the value of theta in terms of x to obtain the final answer so x is equal to x was assumed as equal to cos theta so this means theta is equal to cos inverse of x further we can write sin theta as equal to square root of 1 minus cos square theta or square root of 1 minus x square so this value can be written as equal to 1 by 2 x x for this cos theta and for theta we are going to write cos inverse x and for sin theta this sin theta i'm going to write square root of 1 minus x square to obtain the final answer so this is how i'm going to solve this question friends thanks for watching my video to watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates subscribe and like the videos on these channels on youtube hsk shiksha and math help by hsk thank you